Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura, and reusable gift bags are, well, reusable, which makes them fun. They're fun to receive, fun to give, fun to re-give to other people if we're putting gifts in them, or if we want to keep them for ourselves just to store some fun things in. It's fun all the way around, and it's even better if we can make them quickly. I have a pattern that takes six pre-cut 10-inch squares, no hand sewing, and they're reversible with cute little square bottoms. So for these little gift bags, we will need six 10-inch squares. And since we can buy them pre-cut, that's going to make it even easier. They can all be different. We need to sew the six together using a quarter inch seam allowance, so we're going to make one long strip. And once they're sewn together, we can press all of the seams going in the same direction. Take that long strip and sew it together so we have a continuous tube. But this time, sew a little bit on each side, leave a little bit of an opening, somewhere around three to four inches and then press that seam in the same direction as all the others. So we have a big tube. The spot where we have the opening, have it come into the center and match up those seams. So we will have two flat blocks and the ends are rolled over. These ends are going to be the bottom of the bag and we're going to tuck them in to make square corners. Take a pin and mark up three inches. I'm just finger pressing the corner, not the whole bottom. So I have that three inch mark, a little finger press on that fold. This fold is going to come up to the pin. We're going to do it coming inside. So we can just open that up until that fold comes to where that pin is and then fold it back. So we now have two folds and just replace that pin so those folds stay in place. I'm going to do that to the one side and to the other side. This is a reversible bag and those folds are the bottom of the bag. So they have this little pleat on each end. We now have a center seam. We're going to do a few more marks. From that center seam over, we need an inch. So this will be a total of two inches. And then mark one more inch. I'm going to do it with a marker so you can see. So from that center seam over, I have an inch on each side. And then another inch. This inch and this inch are going to be where we put draw strings in. So we need to take those marks and put them on the other side. If you'd like, you can put little X's on those one inch marks because what we need to do is we're going to sew this area across that seam and then right down each side of the bag. So this little one inch is going to be left open on both sides. So we've stitched all the way around, back stitched, left that one inch opening, stitched up those two inches, back stitched, left that one inch opening, and continued stitching all the way down. So as we've stitched down, we've stitched that little fold. And we have that on all of the corners. From that little opening that we left in the center, turn this right side out. Those little ends that we folded up gives us a nice finish for the bottom of the bags. So it sort of gives us this flat bottom. And we have those bottoms on each side. Open up that bag and put one side into another. So those square bottoms are going to be together. Up at the top, we have that little opening. Fold it in and do a row of top stitching all the way around the outside of the bag and go as close as you can to this edge. That little row of stitching 
This closed off that top so we don't have to do any hand stitching and it gives it a nice finish. When we look at the sides, we're going to have a hole an inch down and that's going to be on each side. We need to do two rows of stitching. One row of stitching will be one inch down, so it's going to be just above that opening. The next row of stitching is going to go just below that, so we have that stitching. So we're going to have two rows going all the way around the bag, leaving this opening open. So there's the stitching all the way around, and I have that opening, which will match the opening inside. And that's the same on both sides of the bag. So we have openings right here along those seams. Now we need to get some kind of a ribbon or a little rope to make closures. We will need two pieces that are going to be equal this if it's inside with a little knot on the end. So it's a double size. And I'm going to need two pieces the same size. I'm going to use a pink and a green. So what's going to happen is I'm going to put the one ribbon in through the one hole. I'm going to feed it all the way through, bypass this, keep feeding it through so that both the ends are going to come out that one hole. The second ribbon I'm going to feed into the second side. I'm going to feed it in bypass that hole so it goes all the way around and the two ends are going to come out the second side. So inside that one inch channel I'm going to have two ribbons. So it'll be the same on both sides. To pull that ribbon through you can use the safety pin or any method you like. I like using this little bobkin. I have an area that I can put that ribbon and then this is flexible so it can go through the bag. So it does need to go through both of those layers all the way around, bypass that hole on the one side, and come out that same hole and tie those ends. So that one ribbon is all the way through. I'm going to do the same thing to this extra side and tie those together. So I have those two ends coming from each side and it's a matter of taking those two ends and pulling and the bag is closed. And the bonus is this is reversible. So we can pull it out, have the other side. So just pop that ribbon right to the other side and pull that knot out. Do that to both sides, pull those ends and the bag is done. And the bottom of that bag has that nice flat bottom. That big flat bottom means everything is going to stay inside and it has a nice presentation. The bag does equal about 12 inches, but when we subtract that top, it really is a 10 inch bag. So it's 10 inches by 10 inches and it gives us a three inch bottom. So those 10 inch squares really do sew up to make these cute bags. They're reversible, they have those nice flat bottoms on them, and they were quick and easy with no hand sewing. And if you're like me and you collect odd pieces of ribbon, well, it's a good way to use up some extra ribbon. I do hope you liked today's episode on making some reusable gift bags. And thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and, well, come on back. Let's see what we're working on next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.